Let's talk spring fragrances. These are my top five fragrances that I can't wait to wear during upcoming spring. Stay tuned. You're watching CX Sense. My name is Jeno. Thank you guys for tuning in. So let's not waste any time and let's get into this list. In number five spot, we have a fragrance that got a lot of hate and won a lot of people over as well. I'm talking about Dior Homme 2020. I love this fragrance. This could have been an entire different line that Dior has put out. Like they could have put it in a different bottle, gave it a different name and people would have liked it more instead of just getting rid of the iris and then calling it Dior Homme 2020. This is a citrus woody icery super bomb in a way, it performs like six to seven hours on me with a moderate projection and it smells just amazing. And yeah, my number five, Dior Homme 2020. In number four, we have a kind of classic fragrance, Aqua di Palma Colonia Essenza. This fragrance, it's green, fougere-ish, like it's a light, lighter fougere. It's not as heavy on the green notes, which I like because I don't like heavy green fragrances. But if it's a light fougere with a lot of citruses, then it's my jam. I like those type of fougères. That's why I love this fragrance. And I I don't think I've ever worn this since I got it. I got it like one and a half months ago or like two months ago. And I haven't worn it once because I feel like this is a perfect spin, a spring fragrance. So yeah, Aqua di Palma Colonia Senza in the number four spot. In the number three, we have a very sweet fragrance, a Baccarat Rouge 540 inspired fragrance. Sunset Riot, number three. This fragrance, oh, it smells so good. It's like Baccarat Rouge, a lot less sweetness like candy sweetness is toned down. It's still sweet, it's still very sweet, but the candiness is toned down. There's some pepper, pepperness to it and it's fresh up top. So in my opinion, more wearable for a guy. So yeah, number three. Oh wait, I haven't talked about the performance. This is like a six, seven, sometimes even eight hour fragrance with moderate projection. So yeah, number three, Sunset Ride by All Saints. Before we get to the number two spot, one honorable mention, Office for Man. This man gets a lot of hype for his fragrances, but you can't deny how good this is. It's a mix of Savage, EDT and Cree Aventus. It's a beast in performance. 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours I get every time with this. Beast mode in projection. It's just an amazing fragrance and one that I can't wait to wear when it's getting a bit warmer. My number two is Aqua di Giro Profumo. Performance is very good, like six to seven, sometimes even eight hours, but I get more like that six, seven mark. And this just smells amazing. Aqua di Giro DNA with that frankincense and patchouli, which makes it a bit mysterious. It's just an amazing fragrance and I can't wait for spring to wear the hell out of this. Although I need to be careful because as I said, it's discontinued and I don't want to rush through this bottle, at least as long as I don't have a backup. And my number one spring fragrance that I really want to try is, as you can already see, it's missing up there, Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum. This fragrance is just it. I feel like every guy should own this. This is the perfect fragrance. Well, I say perfect fragrance. It's one of the best blues, if not the best blue fragrance. For me, this one and Aqua Essenziale Blue are the best blue fragrances out there. This just smells amazing. Those citruses, some woody notes in combination with the incense that you get in this it just makes this one very special and you smell like a boss like you smell like money with this fragrance uh, it's an amazing performer on my skin a lot of people get bad performance with this but my bottle on my skin it performs like crazy like eight hours at least i get with this i got it once just once i got like 11 hours out of this one and i'm not even sure what happened i i'm not i'm i have no idea what happened that day that i got this type of performance very good fragrance and everyone needs to own this in my opinion so there you have it my top five well technically six fragrances that i can't wait to wear in spring i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please consider subscribe and leave a like and comment down below what's that one fragrance that you really really want to wear for spring let me know down in the comments or let me know in on instagram which you can find me under this handle or the link down in the description i hope you enjoyed this video my name is jeno i'm jeno you were fantastic what was my outro again i just did it i we I, I recorded like six videos or something and, and, I, and I always did the outro and I'm forgetting it now. Was it I'm Jenno and you're fantastic as always? Ah, I've been Jenno, you've been fantastic as always. See you in the next video. Goodbye.